We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Stanford's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up a, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. And they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. They knock it down, incomplete. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He got hit hard. Good job by the defense to force a punt on the first series. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They get four yards on the halfback option. Second down and six. Ball on their own 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. With the safeties coming up making plays near the line of scrimmage, that tells your offense they've got to start throwing the ball to keep them honest. Caught, and that's a first down. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. Wow, that was close. I think the officials marked the spot correctly, and it gives them the first by an highlight. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. about the 41-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First and 10, ball on the 41. Quick out to his receiver. They complete that play action pass, good for seven yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Mike 17, Mike 17. Ready. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. We've got a first and 10. All on the 26-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Tackled after a decent pickup. Tenth play.
play the drive. like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. From the 12-yard line, first down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that. Quick pass, intercepted. He's on the run. The five, touchdown Cardinals. the play by the defender. That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Stanford lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at the 28. From their own 28-yard line, second down. And it's caught. Tackle made at the 48. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. Intercepted. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39 yard line. Stanford up seven points. Gets to about the 41 yard line. Open field, tackle at the 49. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Cardinal lead, 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Zips it to the tight end. Knocked out of bounds at about the 35. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. From the 35-yard line, first down. Brought down right around the 34. That makes it second to 10. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. Third down now. They need to get it to the 25. Under heavy pressure. And they make the stop at the 11. First down. 
And this play is number eight on the drive. Stanford is up by a touchdown. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 11. As a man, he'll lose big yards. This is the 10th play of this drive. Quick throw, picked off. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the nine-yard line. He has some room. And he's tackled at the 35. to go long and does. And he snags that one. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. <laughs> Nicely designed play to the wide receiver and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? Defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying the offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave their star receivers open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. And he hits the PAT. A quick two-play, 91-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over to the sidelines after touchdown after touchdown saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. Well, here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Fires out to his wideout. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Stanford! And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 37. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 36. Check, 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 
Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That'll be a two-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 12. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. And he's tackled right away. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. California's going to take their first time out of the half. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Thought it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 36-yard line. Ready! Gets rid of it quickly. Complete. Touchdown, Cal! Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Throws it in a hurry, and down he goes around the 31-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Steps out of bounds around the 34-yard line. The Golden Bears use their second timeout. Good solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. You know, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. We've got a first and 10. Ball in their own 47. And he hits him hard at the 44. Caught, and that's a first down. He's tackled at the 39. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. I like that they're completing these underneath throws because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. 
that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. They'll bring him down at the 19. He gets to 100 yard receiving with that grab. Yo, this guy continues to make plays, and what this can do is force the defense to have to double team it. And if a defense starts to double team a wide receiver, it opens up avenues for other wide receivers and also the running game to try to exploit the defense. And we're still in the first half, so there's a lot of time left for this kid to build on those statistics. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. We play the half. California leads it 17-14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. California holds a field goal lead. Lost the ball. Defense says they've got it, and they do. That mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They come out in a goal line set. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. That's a team. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 41 yard line. He goes out of bounds at the 38. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He gets hit out of bounds at the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down. And he's taken down at the 13. They're in the red zone, so this quarterback better be smart. Last time, he threw a pick down here. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. That makes it second and six. From the 10 yard line, second down. They go with him again, and he'll be taken down behind the line. Catches it, and he's 
punished. So close, but they fall short on the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Cardinals. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Stanford to kick. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Out of bounds at the 29. Second and six coming up here. All on their own 29. Scrambling around. And he's sacked. Calling a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Here's third and eight. Ball on their own 27. Gets it out in a hurry. He's got it! Inside the 30. Tackle at the 12-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Brought down at the 16. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. He steps out at the 13-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. It was a six-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. They line up in the jumbo set. Here's the run right. He's
He's got nowhere to go. From their own 30-yard line, third down. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Oh, excellent punt. What a collision. This receiver's been having himself a great game. Well, not only is he having a great game, but he also just seems to be having fun out there. I think the entire offense, for that matter, the entire team, seems to be responding to his infectious attitude. When one of your receivers can average 20 yards a catch, your offense is doing something right. If this defense doesn't find a way to slow this guy down, they're going to wake up to very bad headlines in the morning. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. That brings them second and five. Second and five. Ball on their own 36. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. California has a three-point lead. And he's tackled at about the 41. Gain of two on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. And this one is a beauty. He takes it at the 12. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Nice run there. Seven-yard scamper on the keeper. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Great display of offense by both teams so far. As we head to the fourth, California's got a three-point lead. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Not over here. Not over here. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. They'll keep it on the ground again. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Seven yard line. That's a team on the play. From their own 47 yard line. First down. Mike one. Mike one. Run high. Gains his way to the 40 yard line. Call again 13 yards. First down. They're packed in tight on the line. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on the 39. Oh, 
He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. Here's the eighth play of the series. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Now you're looking at someone who makes the defense nervous because not every quarterback can break off a run like that. He's a real talent. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Stanford kicked this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He puts it away and it's a great kick. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Nowhere to go on a delay. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in 34. He tackles him for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. He airs it out. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. away and it's a booming punt there's a fumble it's picked up and down he goes at the 34 yard line golden bears battled all game long but it's not looking so good right now well but remember they're still within striking distance here if they can put together a drive they got a shot to win this game first and ten ball on their own 34 less than two minutes in the fourth quarter Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 39. And he stops the clock with a spike. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And this is what power football is all about, folks. 
Somebody from the defense has got to be able to step up and slow down this offense. Right now, this offense appears to be in a rhythm. Let's see what the defensive coordinator can dial up to see who can make this play to stop this offense. He gets rid of this one. From their own 46-yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. He's down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Fall on the loose ball. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Under a minute left in the game. The Golden Bears, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. Takes a knee. out to about the 45-yard line. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 28-24, Stanford. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? Oh, this was a great football game, and these kids will remember this game for a long time. California played a great game, and they should be proud, but I was not impressed with the way they worked the clock towards the end of the game. Wiser play calling and better clock management, in my opinion, would have made a difference in this game. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.